How's it going today guys? Trucks and Water here and today is July 4th so happy July 4th. I hope everyone's having a great 4th of July weekend. I know I am. Um, probably going to be a low key 4th of July today for me um, which I kind of like. Like on holidays I like to be kind of low key and just relax and stuff like that. But um, welcome to the vlog. Um, some of you have said you want a more like not day in the life vlogs but I guess more daily ish vlogs and I think I'm going to incorporate more of my other stuff I do besides trucks like trucks and trucks and water and stuff like that in these vlogs so like my dirt bike stuff and stuff like that you know I have a second channel but it just be easier to incorporate it into this right now to kind of connect with you all and whatnot but I do want to say this today is the 4th of July of the greatest country on earth ever recorded no matter what um, I know this country is in a lot of turmoil right now. I'm not going to talk about who you voted for or why you voted for or whatever. But no matter what, guys, this country is the greatest country on planet Earth. It just unfortunately, a certain group of people decided they want to try to ruin that for the rest of us. But we will take it back. And this country is always and always will be the greatest country on Earth. Um, personal excellence is a number one thing y'all that needs to be reincorporated in this country to remake it to what it was um i was told a quote and i'll tell you all this quote before we dive into this vlog even more and the fun stuff that you don't know who watches you secretly no idea who they are you know you could be a family member could be a random stranger you don't know who watches you and and it's your job to show personal excellence on every aspect of your life and we all fall short don't get me wrong i fall short on a lot of things but if we all could live by that this world would be a lot better place so happy fourth of july guys thank you for all that made the ultimate sacrifice sacrifice every day to make this country great it, you all are very much appreciated and uh let's get into this vlog <laughs> So we're back up in the garage now. We got um, Brooke up in here. I'm probably gonna wipe her down with some of that uh, that um, chemical guys wireless wash I have. But I'm gonna let this cool off. It's been the sun driving around. So I'll be working on my bike. If y'all know what this is, this is my 2006 Honda CRF 250R, first year of the dual pipes, the best pipes. Of any dirt bike guy, I love these dual pipes. Polishing out the frame after a ride. I got some polishing compound. I'm gonna polish um, this part of the frame out. Um, put some polish on the swing arm, some on the exhaust to try to touch it up. To, and it creates a good reflective or a good barrier for when dirt, water, mud, God knows what hits it, it rolls right off, it doesn't stick. Does have a stage one built motor, so everything done to this motor besides a big bore kit, pretty much running a 110 octane race gas so it it gets up and moves for a 250 it's uh it's not a stock 250 by any stretch of imagination but it's also a kickstart though so gotta have that kickstart life um but yeah but also i want to give you all a challenge if y'all get this video up to 100 likes i will i guess shave off the bottom part right here and just had the stash like rooster does in the new movie top gun maverick um i think i could be able to pull it off actually um because i have a version of the oakley basically oakley aviators kind of like aviators kind of not but i think i'll be able to pull it off with the um just the 80s uh stash so like i said you get this video to 100 likes i'll shave this off and just do rock the stash for a little bit and it'll grow back really fast anyways Hopefully I'll get a beard soon. I want a beer real bad. But anyways, so get this party started. Got the frame taken care of on my bike. Polished up the frame best I could. Did the swing arm, did my exhaust. Um, just try to get a good coating on it. This side of the swing arm, this side of the frame. I think this winter I'm gonna tear the bike. I'm not gonna do new plus on the bikes, new hand handlebar setup and stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna take all the plastics off take the fuel tank off and do some maintenance of course but then i'm going to do a heavy compound polish and all that stuff to try to really bring out the shine in this frame these aluminum frames so let's move on to the truck and uh get her a little cleaned up she's 
He's a little dirty. The truck is all clean now. You should have seen my dust and dirt that came off it. This will be the last time I wipe it down with that stuff. I'm gonna do the next one's gonna be a wash and put a good coat of wax on it. Um, but this stuff works pretty good for what it is. It doesn't get everything off, but it gets the majority and the bulk off. Um, put that ceramic water beater slash uh, um, window cleaner on the side to make sure that the water beads off the windows and it extends the life of like you don't have to clean it as often basically um there's a streak right there i need to get rid of that um but it looks really really good probably gonna head out of here here in a minute i'm done up here in the garage and uh see where we go from there all right guys we got the boys we're gonna go cruise and take some pictures because you know why not um we got hunter up here with his new white tacoma he's got some new wheels on though they look really good we'll show you all in here in a little bit then we got Kev up in front with a Chevy. So we got two Yoders and a Chevy. And Hunter's looking back at me. Can't see me through my window tent because it's really dark and I love it. So Hunter, you did put some new stuff on your truck last time we saw it, didn't you? I did. Have you showed the viewers? No, I have not showed the viewers yet. So what did you put? First of all, I got mud flaps. You got mud flaps. Tires and wheels. Tires and wheels. Bed cover. Got a bed cover. New tail lights. New tail lights that match mine. And I think that's it at the moment. And tint darker than Josh's is coming this week. <laughs> Going 5% on the windshield. Have fun with that. Hey, buddy. I should probably not leave my keys in my truck. Probably not. Probably not. I'm going to pee you over here. I got oh, doc to document everything. I'm going to be five years old again. You go over there, honey buns? Nope. I don't know. You know, someone's probably trying to fish up there and we're ruining their time right now. <laughs> That's like... Of course, Hunter grabs the biggest or the littlest rock he could possibly find. You almost did not make it. <laughs> what would you have done? I would have died laughing. Kevin, to find a big -ass rock. Kevin you're getting your brand new Hey Dudes dirty for Nashville. I Dang know, it. I know, I know. I wonder how many people lost their V-card right here. Good spot. I'd say a lot of them. Other mm. than when people are on that road, just, see, then you're like, yeah, just wave and keep that, going. That's right. We almost we took the white silver auto and got almost <laughs> stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Those tires suck. Yeah, we about got stuck. We did. I actually well, think it was that spot. Where was I during this? Oh my god, it was this spot right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where was I during this? I don't know. I don't know. Well, should we all do know? We're not gonna say it on camera. Just rough riding three deep in a single cab with no air conditioning. Context clues. Context clues. <laughs> Do y'all have that? Do y'all have that one friend in your friend group that like is special needs? That's Hunter. He's like very much special needs. Oh god, dang it! Let's go up the hill because apparently this is a test for Tacomas. Oh wow! Whoa, hell! This is why we can't have anything nice. I up that with no problem. And you did. You tore up the grass. Come look at this. Not really? Yes, you did tear up the grass. Come here. Look, Hunter. Look at this. Yeah, I'm sorry that I have a two-wheel drive truck. Yeah. I went up it in two-wheel drive. You went up. Yeah, because I was smart about it. I went straight up it. Watch out. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> I'm sorry my special needs son decided to go up a small hill. Ready? He's, he's special needs. You know, every time he sees a small hill, he has to go up it. Ow, my foot. Yeah, I wow. I just want to climb that hill. You know how he is when it comes to hills. He sees a little hill and he has to climb it. I'm gonna go down the steep part right here too at an angle. I came up it like this. Went straighter upper. Did a slide or nothing. He's definitely the special needs of the group. <laughs> Hunter, we got a great view right here, and then this guy in a Chevy shows up. I know. Now this has got to be really deep up here. No, Hunter, the water's just lower over there. That means it's going to be deeper up here. <sighs> <laughs> I'm that friend. Right, I want to do a quick shout out to my buddy, Zach. He just got word that he's getting a major sponsorship to for his build. I'm very happy for him because he deserves it. Like, if out of anybody, he definitely deserves it. So, a huge shout out to him. But now we're over here at this part of the lake. Um, Hunter's going to um, Hunter's gonna baptize Kevin in the lake now. Yep. <laughs> all right, Kev. All right, Kev. Get. Home. All right, Kev. Get naked. I'm about to. Oh shit! Oh, oh wow! He oh, oh, was willingly ready to do this. 
Do you know how far this would rise up and those just broke and those broke free and started just floating this place? I'd be running like you've never seen me run in my lifetime. I mean, I still wouldn't make so, it. So you'll say so you'd run from six mile an hour to six point five. <laughs> the GoPro goes flying. Wow! <laughs> we are rolling out, guys. We got Kev behind me. Got Hunter in front of me. Sun's going down. It's a good Fourth of July, so I'm gonna roll out. Um, in this video, we do have a mod coming up, so make sure you stay tuned in this video. We got a mod coming for Brooke. Thank God. It's going to be a good one, especially for Nashville. Um, definitely need it before I go to Nashville. Um, but it's going to be good. So, uh, yeah, been a really good 4th of July. Hope you all had a really good 4th. Hope you all are safe. Didn't lose any fingers or toes or get too wild and crazy. But uh, it's been a good 4th. Special needs child. So, it is currently um, Thursday, right before Friday, we're supposed to leave for Nashville. Um, and I got a box. It's for the truck. But anyways, this is the Rough Country's roll-up soft tarno cover for the five-foot beds on the, uh, for the Tacomas. So, we'll be installing this real quick. Um, it's going to be, I definitely need it. It's going to be well well worth the money and plus it's a lot cheaper than most and it had better review than most of the soft roll-up tarno covers i saw out there as you can see there it is looks pretty well taken there's the bars man this looks it looks really good so let's get this thing installed all right boys and girls i got the mod on um it looks really really good so without further ado here we go so this is the Rough Country Roll-Up Tarno Cover. Um, three quarters of an inch off the bed, which is very minimum, very slick looking. It's um, very, very nice. Um, the instructions were straightforward and easy to follow as we got a storm coming in. Um, the instructions were straightforward and easy to follow. Um, just make sure you follow them, guys. Take your time. Don't rush it. Um, but it absolutely looks very, very good. I like it a lot. There's only two things I don't like about it, and I'll go over that here real quick. So, pop the bed is you have to take off your um, your tie down points in the bed. These plastic ones. Now, granted, they're only rated for 220 pounds. So even if I try to tie my dirt bike to this, they're gonna break probably. Um, because they got clamping systems all throughout here. They go into the, that rail in here. Um, which is not a big deal. I still got my tie-down points right there and right there, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Um, but that, and when you flip the tailgate up and close it, it kind of sticks up a little bit right here, which this kind of more of a pet peeve. You won't notice it. Um, it seems like it's pretty watertight, which I'm very happy about. So we'll test that here We'll, we'll see how good it does here in a little bit, actually. But it also comes with some foam blocks and foam inserts right here. You have to take off your bulkhead rail right here. Put these foam inserts on both sides to block off water. And it's got a nice rubber piece up here to block off water from coming in that way. Back here, you know, you can only do so much blocking water off like this. We'll probably flip this rubber piece out on top. But it looks like it stays down like that. Again, water can get in right there, but not much you can do about it. But in general... It looks very well, very, very well. It's all tight and tensions there. It looks very, very good. So I'm very happy about it. I can lock my tailgate now, put stuff in and lock my tailgate. Now, you can cut through this. I'm not going to lie. This is not 100% secure, but it's mostly for an honest thief because at that point, what's them to stop breaking your glass and getting inside of your truck? Um, so I understand some people want a hard one, which they do make a hard version, and they do make a tri-full, which is in three sections on a roll-up. You roll all the way up, it's got hooks that hook onto here, like a big loop and strap that hooks on here that keeps it tied up top here for me to use your bed. Um, so it looks very, very well. I'm very happy with it as the storm's rolling in. Um, looks absolutely fantastic. So if you need a tarno cover for your uh, rough cut, for your rough, or if you need a tarno cover for your Tacoma, Rough Country makes a really, really good one, a soft roll up one. Um, I think it was $280, which was $100 cheaper than the manufacturer of the one I've got on Ashley over there. Um, and it's basically the exact same thing. It actually sits lower than if I got the one that Ashley's got. And I like these a lot. So, if you're in the market for one, guys, look at Rough Countries. It looks very, very good. 
Um, it's not a tie down. All the things are tied down on it. Looks absolutely wonderful. So that's where we're gonna end this vlog video. If you like this video, leave a like on your channel. Please subscribe to the Trucks Water family. We're constantly growing, changing, trying new and better things. I hope you all have a great day and remember, never give up on your dreams.